Hi, this is Chris at The Wandering Bull. In this video, we're gonna talk about the lane stitch. Basically, we're gonna talk about how to start it, how to add a quill, how to obviously move forward, and then how to end the quill. So we'll be working on those three techniques. Um, the lane stitch is done primarily with white quills, and it doesn't involve adding multiple colored quills um, similar to this sawtooth design that we did earlier. Um, and we're gonna work, on, work from this piece with the um, lane stitch. Basically, nice short thread, well waxed. Um, I wax the thread to keep it from tangling, not knotting. It slides through the leather, easy. So, nice short piece. You don't need anything longer than this. This is gonna last two hours of doing quill work. We've done the zigzag technique here in the band, which it, with this, with the sawtooth, with, look, with the sawtooth. Now we're gonna do this edging and it's the lane stitch, and that quill basically does a, does a little spiral. So I'm gonna start this technique. Um, I have this pre previous piece of quill work. So I'm gonna, basically I wanna line the edge of this. We're gonna go follow right around. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna start on the back, hide my knot, come up in the front. We're not gonna flatten the quill. So we're gonna use the quill round. And to start, I've come up through the bottom. I'm gonna do my back stitch. Slide my quill in. Pull that guy tight. So now to advance, the same back, um, back stitch I'm gonna want the quill on my left and the thread on my left. Go around the quill. Want my thread on this side, around the quill. Pull. See how that guy twists right in place? And once again, I'm only going halfway through the, the brain tan deer skin because it's nice and fibrous and I don't need to travel all the way through the material to the backside with that needle. So I'm in place. My thread goes under the needle, around the quill. And pull. And I'm probably a quarter inch spacing, quarter inch down, around the, underneath the needle, around the quill, and pull. This technique moves fairly quick. And same thing with all the other quill work that we do. Um, we're, the black tip on the quill, we basically don't want to use, so we're going to work around that and cut it off before we get there. I'll do one more. All right. So I'm going to snip the, all, the, that black tip off entirely. I'm going to take my, my awl. I'm going to open up the hole. Inside the quill is hollow. So I'm opening that hole up. I'm going to take my new quill. I'll snip all the black off. Not going to flatten it. Going to still use it round. The end that sticks into the animal, we're going to insert in the hole. So I've inserted the quill, and I'm assuming it's down to that knot there. So I want my next thread to be here and catch the old quill and the new quill together. So I do my back stitch, 
thread under the needle, around the quill. And that has done it. So I have basically that, this knot has captured the old quill and the new quill, pinched them down tight so they're not gonna separate. Once they cool and harden, that's a, they'll be there for a long time. And if you didn't catch the middle, this, the new quill, it's gonna pull out. We'll turn the corner up here and I'll show you how to do that. Just a version. Still works the same, same, um, same knot. All right, I'm, I'm gonna do one more stitch. Bring it further up, around. I'm gonna go underneath my quill, around. Okay, so now I can turn that corner nicely. Gave myself a little bit of room and didn't pinch the corner too tight. So doing that same technique. Around that quill, pull the thread. There we go. Do one more to make that corner. go now I'll come down this side underneath my needle around the quill pull same technique as a zigzag just how we wrap it around the quill and that quill reacts differently All right, so we've traveled from the left up, up over the top, down the right side, showed you how to add a new quill um, in there by sticking the awl in, opening up the center, sliding the new quill in. And when you get to the end, basically you're gonna do the same technique as we've been doing all along. You're gonna do the back stitch, wrap your thread underneath that quill and pull it tight. Snip the end, pull that in tight. Once it hardens, he's good. Snip that off. So today we showed you how to start the lane stitch. It's that the white technique. How to start the quill, how to add a quill, and how to end it. So to see other videos on quill work, go to wanderingbull.com. Thanks for watching.